here is Georgia from Humble Voice of Tarot, and this is going to be your reading for uh, air, for Earth signs. Sorry, for Earth signs, and uh, which is going to be a uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in separate readings, but only in one recording because I don't have much time this week to uh, edit. Okay, but uh, it's going to be the third week of May. Okay. Uh, this time I'm going to be using the uh, Psychic Tart for the Heart by John Holland and the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. Okay, I might also um, clarify. And I'm going to put uh, in the description down below the the time of each sign so you don't, have, you don't have to look for it yourselves okay how is everybody how is everybody doing what's the weather like here is lashing rain today and for past two days it was actually quite raining as well so i'm desperately waiting for the sun to come out again <laughs> so let's start anyway okay um i'm gonna put it down so that you can see the cards okay so first with these ones okay so my dear angels what's going on with taurus uh in law for the third week of may what's going on with taurus in law for the third week of may what's going on with taurus in law for the third week of may the taurus in law for the third week of may taurus in law Okay, I'm going to move it then at the end, okay? What's going on with Virgo in love for the third week of May? What's going on with Virgo in love? You should hear the lashing rain. What's going on with Virgo in love for the third week of May? Virgo, what's going on with Virgo in love the third week of May? Oh, okay, I take this one. What's going on with Capricorn in love for the third week of May? Maybe you can hear it. Can you hear it? The rain? <laughs> What's going on with Capricorn in love for the third week of May? I love listening to the rain and I love looking at the rain from uh, the warm place uh, or the side of the window. But I don't like walking in the rain. What's going on with Capricorn in love for the third week of May? So, same goes with these. Okay, what's going on with Taurus in love the third week of May? What's going on with Taurus in love for the third week of May? What's going on with Taurus in love for the third week of May? The Taurus in love. What's going on with Taurus in love for the third week of May? Okay, let's take that. What's going on with Taurus in love the third week of May? What's going on with Virgo in love for the third week of May? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What's going on with Virgo in love for the third week of May? What's 
going on with the Virgo in love for the third week of May? What's going on with Virgo in love for the third week of May? And Capricorn. What's going with Capricorn in love the third week of May? What's going on with Capricorn in love for the third week of May? What's going on with Capricorn in love for the third week of May? It's wild. I'm so happy I'm, I'm inside. Okay, so Taurus, I'm going to start with you. You've got trust, passion, strengthening bonds, which is the Ace of Pentacles. And simply love, which is six of cups. So, Taurus, let me see. So it seems like you are starting anew with somebody that you keep trust towards. There's a lot of passion, a lot of trust between you. It could be, it could be somebody you uh, used to know in the past and they uh, reappeared now and became, uh, that you became involved with. You realize that you really have a strong attraction between each other you feel passion your heart really speak to um to them and uh you feel that you can trust them probably because they are uh, people you knew in past so maybe it's easier for you to trust them maybe you used to date in past but then your lives uh, went separate ways with uh, your uh, separate uh, directions, separate uh, destinies, but now the destiny uh, brought you back. And because you had this connection in past, it seems that you may have um, trust them or may have this trust towards them just because of that. Oh, gee. Sorry, uh, I'm just looking. My pet tarantula is trying to get out of the terrarium. She she likes to go out, you know. She sometimes just likes to go out. And uh, she's kind of atypical to others. And <laughs> I just saw see her, how she's trying to get out. Anyway, so... Yes, yeah, so it could be somebody you have a strong connection and maybe you're building this foundation together. Okay, Taurus, you are trying to um, get to know each other a lot more. You trust each other, so it makes you feel that they is, there is already a nice foundation between the two of you to start something new, to maybe go to next level, okay? There is a great passion between the two of you. There is a great uh, feel of exchange of love together. Maybe you have um, this kind of a beautiful, childlike, uh, innocent love between the two of you. It's kind of like a dreamy, kind of like a dreamy love that is... Um, really a beautiful and um, 
that's what creates a trust. Uh, everything seems to be in a perfect uh, synchronicity. Okay. Hmm, what else? I feel if for others of you, if it's not anyone from the past, it could mean just with the six of cups and the passion that the love is very harmonic. Okay, that the love between you uh, is a beautiful balance. There is as well as there is a passion of physical attraction. There is also a lot of internal and heart to heart love, a very deep love, very innocent and um, honest love. OK, so it seems that there is a great stability between the two of you and a great material for a settling into some maybe exclusive relationship or maybe going into next level wherever you are at the moment Taurus so you have a beautiful card okay so let me clarify okay give me the clarification card for trust give me clarification cards for trust what can you tell me about the trust uh, additional card for trust Okay, this one. Give me additional card for passion. Give me additional card for passion. Give me additional card for passion. Give me additional card for a uh, strengthening bond. The Ace of Pentacles. Give me additional card for strengthening bond. The Ace of Pentacles. This one. Give me additional card for uh, Six of Cups. Okay, thank you. <gasps> Page of cups. Okay, perfect. So you could be dealing, you could be dealing with either a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, more likely female, or as well as a air sign, which could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um. Or it could be your energy, this water sign, this uh, Queen of Cups. Basically, I forgot to tell you, with your trust, you have a Queen of Cups. With your passion, you have a Seven of Wands. With... Um, sorry, you may not see, no? With uh, Ace of Pentacles, you have a King of Swords. And with the Six of Cups, you have a Page of Cups. So now I hope you can see. So, yeah, what I feel, uh, this trust is definitely between the two of you. Um, it's uh, more of a... You may have uh, problems with trust as well for some of you. So maybe at the, there's a need to uh, trust a little bit more. Uh, this situation is good enough to trust. So you don't have to be worried. Okay. This a uh, king of swords. Um, even, even though he may not be extremely... A express an extreme uh, love uh, the way you would like to doesn't mean that he doesn't love you he's just more practical okay he's just more in his mind okay uh, especially if you're dealing with the air sign with the Aquarius Libra Gemini because they are more in the head they are less likely going to be like Romeo that's going to be showing you the love or kinds of uh, old-fashioned ways no they're more of uh, talkers they're more of a practical thinker so you have to seek the love in another uh, expression in other ways of um, acts actions okay but they definitely love you and you can trust on uh, on that because the tarots are telling you that you should definitely let yourself trust okay to them also um 
the passion okay has the seven of wands that could mean that as well like the the passion is created because you were maybe uh, fighting for that love for a long time you were daggy sorry my dog dropped the My dog dropped the lamp. So, yep, you have been fighting for their love. You have been trying your best to get that person. And now you have uh, the possibility to be with them. The, the passion is growing between you. And it seems to be that everything is going on well. You are having a great great exchange exchange of messages uh, which is brilliant because uh that creates this connection between you okay so that's what i feel for you taurus anyway taurus good luck okay let's move on to virgos so virgos you have You deserve love. You've uh, wedding. Well deserved reward, which is a nine of pentacles. And a heel, which is star. You have a beautiful cards as well, Virgos. You deserve love, okay? This situation involves marriage. That's what you've got. I think there's a somebody around you that is really, really great relationship material. Whether you are still looking around and trying to find them or whether you are um, still on hold, enjoying your singleness and, you know, enjoying to be uh, successful, uh, maybe concentrating on different things there is somebody around you now that you should notice because there's a somebody that deserves to be loved by you and to give you love because you are now in the in the time where you are ready or you deserve to be loved by the person maybe it was somebody you were long time longing for or hoping for so that person is now around you okay and um, and that person definitely is a uh, also marriage material so uh it's somebody maybe it could be somebody that you know for a longer period of time and uh, but you've never really dated or you haven't dated for a long time or you haven't dated at all but you had this kind of feelings for each other in a long time but there were always some situation that didn't um allow you to be together but you've hoped that maybe one day you will be together maybe you uh, you were dreaming about them maybe they were dreaming about you if there's nobody like that around you at the moment there is definitely gonna be somebody around you in a short period of time so just keep your eyes open now you uh ex uh expressing this energy of uh, loveliness that this attraction that attracts people basically you know this kind of vibe that attracts people and there is one of them that is a special one for you okay so just keep your own open uh, heart and mind uh, and once uh, they approach you you will feel it because it's not just going uh, it's not just a fling it's going to be some serious uh, love and uh, you will feel it okay um virgo also uh for others of you i still feel that they already approach you or they already around you and you just still kind of enjoying to be single maybe you are uh reaping now what you saw and uh, you may be 
tried your best to uh, win the heart and sa uh, finally you did win the heart yeah that could also mean or they were trying to uh, win your heart for a long time and now you feel that it's a time that maybe you could finally uh, go uh, this uh, extra step further to to get to know them in this uh, in this way okay this romantic way and um, even though you've been successful as a single person, you've been happy, you're enjoying your life. But now, at this moment, you um, should look around because there's uh, somebody that is worth, uh, worth not missing, okay? Virgo, you have a very beautiful clear card, so let me just clarify anyway. Please give me additional card for you deserve love. Give me additional card. For Virgos, you deserve love. Give me additional card for the wedding. Give me additional card for the wedding. There are too many cards. Give me additional card for the wedding card. Mm -hmm. Give me additional card for the well-deserved reward. Give me additional card for the well-deserved reward. Give me additional card for well-deserved reward. This one. Give me additional card for heal. Give me additional card for heal. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. You have a beautiful cards. For others of you also, when I was shopping, I kind of felt that there could be somebody you've already married to, okay? Because, look, you've got, with the You Deserve Love, you've got Hierophant, okay? With a wedding, you've got Tower. With a well-deserved reward, you've got uh six of uh, wands and the two of cups with the star heel i'm gonna put one more with the tower i just want to know what's the story there what's the story with the tower what's the story with the tower this one is okay uh you could be either dealing with taurus or maybe you'll be dealing with a air sign aquarius libra gemini and um or somebody with those attributes okay you for some of you you probably you could be already married to someone okay and maybe this tower and this a uh, kind of uh, swords with this wedding could mean that maybe they surprised you by if you are not married if you're just engaged for example they maybe surprised you with uh, proposing you and uh, no, nah, you won't be able. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you probably just date. If you, if some of you just dating somebody, they may have surprised you with proposing to marry them. That could mean this uh, tower. Okay. For others of you, if you're already married, um, with somebody. That could have been something that uh, was shaking with both of you. Maybe something happened very tragic that brought you closer. And that was the reason why you got married. Because you realized you don't want to be without each other. Okay. Maybe there was a sickness or maybe there was something, uh, some accident that uh, brought you closer with that person. What is a reward? Yeah, you're definitely enjoying being single. You're definitely enjoying your career. You're definitely enjoying some something which involves just you yourself. Yeah. Um, but it's time that you get ready for a next step with your loved one. Okay. Because you have the best energies now so far. You have a two of cups with a star Virgo. So you're definitely ready. You're ready to commit. You're ready to uh, fulfill your dreams. Okay. They are there waiting for you. Virgo. That's what I feel. So let's go for the next one. Which is Capricorns. Capricorns, you've got deception, you've got religious factors, take the lead, three of wands, and awaiting results, which is seven of pentacles. 
So, Capricorns, what I feel is that there is some... Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship okay so i there is somebody that is not ex entirely honest with you i would say there is somebody that is um deceived you by uh somehow that uh, made may lie behind your back or do something behind your back that made um you uncomfortable um could be also somebody in that doesn't tell entire truth about themselves or maybe they're hiding something from you and because uh it could be something which is quite different from your point of view quite different from your uh, lifestyle could be quite different uh, let's say different uh from whatever you seek from the loved one um that's why maybe they keep the secret from you could be for example of a different religion could be a different upbringing could be a very big uh, age gap between the two of you uh, that's what postpones the uh, growth of this relationship or of this uh, connection and even though you are hoping for like you're looking further you're looking further with them and uh, you're hoping and you patiently waiting you're still waiting trying to um be patient because maybe the situation that has uh, this uh difference in your path in your life uh, needs to be um discussed need to be solved but uh, the tarot is telling you that the need is to be honest okay you need to be honest together because if you keep uh, if you it could be also vice versa maybe you are the one with a different um, religion religion or different uh, lifestyle or and trying to keep it in secret or trying to lie to them okay the tarots are telling you it's necessary to be truthful okay it's necessary to um, go ahead if you want to go ahead you need to get rid of the uh, that deception you need to take down the mask you keeping from them or if it's them towards you and you need to show your real self okay because if the love is real no matter what are the differences love will always find a way okay so it's necessary that you are uh, honest to each other mm -hmm. Because uh, there is quite good uh, foundation already. Yeah? You have uh, built this love. You have uh, grown this love in inside of you. And you hoping to show it, to give it. Okay. Uh, both of you. So there is only these uh, different factors that are in a way. Okay. And you you not being... Uh, honest to each other uh, you keeping secrets from each, from each other more likely you deceive yourselves and maybe maybe for those of you you deceive yourself not the other person but maybe yourself in in your head maybe it's time that you finally say the loud what the real truth is yeah if if you want to go ahead or if you want to take the next step okay capricorn let me put some additional cards and see please give me additional cards for deception okay give me additional card for religious factors oh jesus they're flying today Give me additional card for the take the lead. Give me additional card for the take the lead. Oh, give me additional card for waiting results. All right. Okay, so you've got a, the wheel of fortune with deception. You have a religious factors and the sun. You have a take the lead and the ace of cups, and you have a, a seven of pentacles and a five of swords. 
what I feel with these additional cards is uh, Capricorn that a the deception that it could be for those of you that the, the destiny is keeping something from you because maybe it's not time yet to know that okay and it's not time yet to know the truth um or now for those of you the there's a good timing now for you to reveal the truth that could also mean yeah that now is the destiny revealing the secrets you keep from each other dropping all the false masks and showing the real faces yeah now is the timing because you are going further you are opening a chapter of a love that you wished for and you are having this reciprocated love and now you need to drop all the masks because now is the time okay if you want to go further with this love because the religious factors and the sun prevent the religious factor could for for some of you it could mean that the religious factors prevent the happiness prevent you from the happiness that's why you feel like you want to give up or maybe the, that's why you feel you waiting in the in the background because you're not strong enough to release relief um, those uh, secrets or you're not strong enough to deal with the factors you have a different from each other or for others of you it could mean that no matter what are the differences the destiny is with you okay the destiny is on your side so you can still be happy no matter what are the differences between the two of you you can still be happy you just need to find a common ground you just need to be honest to each other okay with each other you need to be honest and you need to find a common ground okay capricorns because the love seems to be very nice and very healthy and that could be a great beginnings if you let it okay if you be honest to each other that's what i feel capricorns so anyway uh that was your readings yeah um earth sign taurus virgo capricorn i hope it did resonate if it did resonate please give me thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you want to hear from me and please give me some feedback i would love to hear feedbacks from you okay if it didn't resonate please check the moon sign venus sign rising sign because sometimes they resonate more okay um okay so that was everything i hope i will see you next week and uh, have a beautiful day beautiful week and love to you all bye mm -hmm.